Good morning, good morning. I was going through this book just now, and this book page is one of the very last pages, and it's all these little glass jars of collections. Um, beach glass. That looks like chicken bones. I don't know what it is. Uh, like dried coral, maybe. Um, more beach glass. Dried flowers. Sand. Anyhow. And they're all kind of a rusty connotation or vibe going. So, we're going to replicate this out of my Ray Dunn book for the Positivity Project, Positivity Passport. So, I took a picture of my collection of bottles. This is just printed on copy paper of dirt and or sand from all over the world that I've collected. I saw Martha Stewart who's a lifestyle guru here before lifestyle gurus had titles. She had a collection of sand or dirt from some, a bunch of places in one of her magazines one year. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. There's literally, there's Israel, Italy, um, Greece, all over the United States. There's a feather from Venice, from St. Mark's Square. I mean, there's salt from the Dead Sea, uh, all over the place, all over the place. And they're in lot, little tiny, tiny miniature medicine bottles, vintage medicine bottles. And I just take a little tiny bit so the, the globe is not going to go tilt because I took too much dirt. And I have, uh, what do you call it? Smuggled <laughs> this through many airports. <laughs> so anyhow, Yes, Curti, I put my quote down first. I am going to find a blank page, which there are a few left, not many. That one already has purple assigned to it. This one here is a shop that used to be in Saluda, North Carolina, which is one of the very first towns over the North Carolina border up in the mountains. It was called Random Arts. It was so cool. It had all of this stuff before I even knew what this stuff was. And I used to go in there and just spend, and it was teeny tiny. I mean, no, a little bit bigger than my art room here. But it, they used to have amazing people come in for classes and all kinds of stuff. Um, anyhow, say la vie, the store is no longer there. Oh, there's a blank spot. Okay. And my quote for today is, Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Winston Churchill. I don't know how I'm going to do this one. How did they do theirs? Ooh, with a white background. Like white birch. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to paint this white and put a little bit of gray watercolor and a little bit of brown watercolors. So I'm going to have to fast forward. So here we go. going to leave the noise in the background even though it's sped up you can still hear like the scraping of the paintbrush and cool noises um yeah I'm just painting lots of browns and lots of grays in dirty water which helps because my water looks this color too um 
to try to uh, replicate some of the picture of the book from Ray Dunn on that page. These are not my colors at all, but the subtlety of all of it is gorgeous. I love all the hues of the gray, which is more gray in person than brown on the top. And um, it's really, really pretty, really pretty. These are so not my colors, but I love this. It's very subtle. Not quite dry, but it's dry enough. Hopefully. I'm not going to put anything behind it. I'm just going to put it down. Does she have anything behind hers? No, because it covers the whole page. And they're, well, that's okay. Well, the next county over, which overlaps into this area quite a bit of Columbia, mandatory face masks. And the city of Lexington, which is right next to us, mandatory face masks. So it's a matter of time between before our county which overlaps all of those areas. Mandatory face mask, probably by today. And no large gatherings this weekend. It's just, it's just crazy. I think I said in the newspaper today, all but 14 states have rising numbers. Significantly rising numbers. Yesterday there was 111, I don't know if I said this, I need to contact her. 111 ICU beds left in Arizona, the entire state. And they expected those to be filled by yesterday. The local news here last night said there were plenty of ICU beds left. But that, you know, it's taxing. And I haven't, I, I saw the man next door for just a second, who he is an ER doctor. He's in an ER group, but he's not been on call. He's been off this week. He took his little boys fishing on the lake here with a guide. They caught 23 large bass fish. Crazy. Those kids must have been so excited because they get so excited over a three inch fish. Can't imagine they brought us a bag of fish. Oh, I love that. And I keep forgetting to put my numbers. I gotta put a number here. This is number th three? No, number four. Oh, this is the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. So crazy. Don't even know what's going on around here anymore. The calendar is just completely lost. <laughs> If it wasn't for stuff like this, I wouldn't know what's going on. So that needs to go here. I need to find a numbering system. Do you know why this is in here? That's Olivia Newton-John's jacket that she wore at the end of Greece. But my husband went to a concert for Greece. The, the night before, for Olivia Newton-John, the night before he took the bar. And they were supposed to be in this big, gigantic class and da-da-da-da. But they were going to give it all up to be road crew for her. <laughs> Him and his roommate. Luckily, common sense prevailed. They took the bar and they both passed the first time. Where is the one I did yesterday? And now the other guy's retired. Oh, that's so pretty. My husband is trying to semi-retire. Oh, here's... Was this one of them? No. all the purple stuff. Uh, 
Uh, oh, here's one. Okay, this is three. Maybe today, off camera, I'll come up with a numbering system. There's the purple stuff. And I think in doing this today, I see these two crazy creatures on bikes. What can we do with them? I may use them tomorrow. I may not. I don't know yet. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay kind. Happy 4th of July. Bye.